All eyes are on the Edison restaurant. Initially, repairs were estimated to cost $700,000. Now that's ballooned to more than $2.5 million worth of repairs. And the city council just voted on what to do. Wait News reporter Liz Byro is live outside City Hall. So Liz, how'd they vote? Yeah, Lois, motion passed. That's $2.62 million to fix up the Edison restaurant, at least for now. That was the big hang-up inside of this meeting, is that despite this tripling the initial estimate, that is not the final number. It could keep on going up. On his own time, you can find Stephen Hebden teeing off at the Edison Country Club. But in his professional career... The company that I used to work for, the structural group, specializes in that failed concrete structures. Which is why when he stopped by his favorite golf course's on-site restaurant, he noticed immediately, structurally, things aren't up to par. You can see where this concrete has spalled, and you can see where the cables have frayed and failed. I'm just hoping that the, the necessary people have looked at this and they've made the right assessments in order to make the correct repairs. The initial repair estimate, $700,000. But digging a little deeper, it ballooned to $2.62 million, a big investment to improve the aging club. I think it's great. Uh, if they can have something reasonably priced right here, if they want to improve the facility, that's wonderful. In August of 2023, City Council went with a bidder who wanted to keep this building in place and fix it up. Now that they're doing it, Council and Habden share the belief you need to do it right. It'll just cost us. The thing of it is, there's no sense in painting the building if you have a structural impact. you got to get to the meat and potatoes before you deal with the uh, salt and pepper. And top to bottom, they found issues in this building. The kitchen is sinking, the AC is shot, and the rebar is rusting. Now, council wants the electrical and that AC done as soon as possible so the price doesn't go up even more. I'm live outside City Hall, Liz Byro, Wink News.